Hey, how's it going everyone? How you guys doing tonight, today, wherever you're from in this beautiful world? All right, let's try and kick it off with a nice five minute rear review. This one is from one I did on a live stream and I wanted to get it out there. It came from my wife's work over at the uh, Astoria Co-op in Astoria, Oregon, where she works. Um, had this before though, it was very interesting. I think I had it on my beer and cheese, actually. Check that out. This is from Crooked Stave, and it's their Dark Sour Blue. It's a blueberry dark sour. Um, it's called Dark Sour. Wait, hold on. Dark Sour Blueberry. You can kind of hardly read it. <laughs> it wasn't bad, though, before. Um, I don't know that it was very heavily fruited, but it was definitely like a traditional... Uh, uh, sour, like, you know, kind of, I, I like that though. So, uh, sour ale aged in oak barrels with blueberries. It's a 7.4% ABV served in a 16 ounce can. And this was can 10, 4, 21. So wanted to say happy new year's to everyone. This is probably the last review I'll do for the, la for the year. So, um, cheers to this beer. And let's get my little tulip out and uh, pour a little sour in that. All right. Oh, yeah, it's kind of pouring like a uh, prune juice looking color. Yeah, like a brown, like prune juice, a little red, a little amber uh, in there. Super, super kombucha sour, uh, bread and my CZ kind of like effect going on. Very wild smelling. It produced about a fing half a finger head on a very, very uh, crazy uh, pour there. <laughs> um, so, um, yeah, I mean, it's in the light, you're getting your purples, a little cranberry, a little burgundy. And it's an opaque beer, can't see through it. Nice creamy beer, or a good head there, a nice creamy uh, looking tan head. Uh, it kind of smells like soda pop at first, like a blueberry soda, and then you get into like a, like with an oaky kind of infusion. Um, man, my cat's heavy, jeez. She shook the whole house. You can lay off the food, um, or the beer. So, yeah, very good. Uh, it's got a nice oak kind of feel to it, a little uh, tannin kind of uh, effect in the nose, kind of, you know, that just that real kind of woody kind of thing with the blueberries coming through. Kombucha, it smells like blueberry punch, blueberry soda. And it's uh, poppy, it's got a fizz in the, in the nose. Very nice, very fruity, very blueberry. Woody and blueberry has a... Slight, it uh, has that uh, kombucha kind of, uh, or uh, like a vinegar kind of forward thing. All right, let's drink this. Let's look at it again real quick. Now nah, we're good. Let's drink this. Yeah, it's a, it's a wild, it's more of a wild ferment, um, I think, for the most part. Uh, well, I guess just a lactic acid uh, introduction there. Has kind of a bread and a mycies kind of yeasty kind of thing going, though. I still do, I get the wafer thing, so that's why I'm thinking wild or like a vanilla wafer. Um, I get cranberry, I get grape, I get, um, it's weird, yeah, it's, I think it's the sourness, the cranberry. Um, I, I even get a little orange, like a sour orange or something. Blueberry is your dominant one. You got the wood feature in there, again, the feature word. Uh, very woody, woody-esque, barrel-esque, oaky. Has a slight tannin feel to it, like that of wine or something like that. Body is a uh, is a um, is a medium body with a um, with a uh, nice acidic and uh, and sour mouthfeel. The finish is dry, tannin like, dry and fruity. With that kombucha, it feels like you just pH'd your body. Very lovely beer, though. As it warms it, I remember it getting a whole lot better too. Alcohol's hidden, you know, was it 7.4? Hidden on alcohol, pushing Imperial actually. All right, guys, you guys have a good night. Happy New Year's, cheers. I'm out of here, right on. I'll give this a 4.6 hops out of 10 hops out of five.
Shit. 